United Nations Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs, Martin Griffith, has called for an end to the violence in Haiti, where more than 70 people were killed and some injured in, um, suffered injuries in the latest escalating violence. Now, Mr. Griffith said the escalating violence has killed and injured some more than um, 70 people in Port au Prince in the last two weeks. The political situation in Haiti is getting worse recently with many people being killed and injured with a short period of time which is shocking and alarming. And let's have more details of that in this report by Mariama Chan. Speaking to reporters on Friday in New York, the United Nations spokesperson Stephanie Dujaric indicates that more than 10,000 people have been displaced in the past two weeks alone and sought refuge in more than 20 spontaneous sites or with host families. Mr. Jujaric also reveals that in 2023, more than 2,500 people have been killed and about 1,000 have been injured. So far this year, more than 2,500 people have been killed and almost 1,000 have been injured. According to the spokesperson, the humanitarian community calls on all parties to put an immediate stop to the violence to allow for safe access in all parts of the country and respect human rights, humanitarian norms and standards. Mobile clinics have also been deployed to 10 sites in Haiti so far. Psychosocial medical support, emergency accommodations have been provided to nearly 500 people at risk of gender-based violence, and more than 1,200 women and girls have received sexual and reproductive health services. The diplomat further indicates that nearly half of Haiti's population needs humanitarian help and the 720 million U.S. dollars humanitarian appeal fund for Haiti is only 26 percent funded. Since the assassination of President Jovenel Moise in 2021, political instability and violence have rocked Haiti. Armed gangs control a majority of the capital city, Port-au-Prince, making it difficult to transport goods and deliver services. According to reports, a surge in violence in parts of Haiti's capital over the past week has pushed more than 3,000 people to flee their homes, including many who have been forced to seek shelter in improvised sites that leave them vulnerable to attacks.